greetings everybody on, on YouTube. This is All Platforms Gamer. I'm starting a playthrough with a continue where I left off on my game, the Banjo Kazooie game series. I'm going straight over to the, the, the third one, which is considered to be more like a spin off plus uh, is uh, a sequel to Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. It took me a while to figure out uh, what I was going to do. I'm gonna plan to do with this one because there is a stop and swap um, in this, and apparently it may be it'll be it'll be ages for me to be able to use, use it. So I'm just going to do the game normally with what's in it uh, from how it was uh, like done regularly by the, the the team of Rare. Just to let all of you know, any vehicles I make in this game are not going to look like anything from the reference from other games. I'm only going to make vehicles that are the perfect uh, for the challenges that I um, I do. Ones that are complicated, I would make in Mumbo's Motors and uh, be able to do the challenges with them. The storyline is obviously planned for this, and so is uh, getting all the Jinjo tokens, getting the whole entire Jinjo. Uh, 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 Bingo Palace completely cleaned out. Doing the Cl the Clongo Saves the World arcade game, which will probably be last in line because that actually has situations of, of freezing put into its programming when trying to play it. So, and more other stuff's planned too. The Trophy Thomas trophies are probably going to be second to last to do because they're going to be really, really hard to be able to achieve. I'll have to get like the best vehicle parts in the game in order for to do all of that. So uh, let's uh, uh, begin. If someone's uh, uh, watching this, great. If not, I'm out. apparently I tried to go to the demo mode. I've done Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie on this playthrough, so it's a great time at this point to do this one now. The original Banjo Kazooie was very rare, so it was really hard for me to find that. And do you find it surprising that I did that? That I just found a, a rare game made by the company Rare. <laughs> I'm not even so sure if that's a really good joke, but I just realized that that kind of sounds uh, quite <laughs> whatever. Anyway, time to begin. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bring back my commentary in my uh, uh, YouTube videos because I discovered that even when I don't speak in playthroughs, I still mess up. So it's probably best for me to just go back to doing commentary on my pl on those playthroughs again. Well, ones that I recently uh, um, uh, make like as a new addition to my channel, the ones I'm doing so far will have no commentary. Once upon a time, there lived a heroic bear called Pancho, a rather loud bird called Kazooie, and an unpleasant witch called Gruntilda. When Banjo's sister was kidnapped, the bear and bird rescued her from the depths of the witch's lair, overcoming many perils and speech impediments to send Gruntilda tumbling to her doom. But she was nothing if not persistent, and surprising nobody, the old hag soon rose from her grave for round two. Our brave heroes once again stood in her way, and this second showdown ended just as badly for Gruntilda, who really should have quit while she was ahead. Many years have passed, and peace reigns in Spiral Mountain. So what became of the bear, the bird, and the witch? Yeah, you don't see him, but Jam Jar somewhat is uh, um, a cameo in this game.
And of course, in that trash can is obviously a, of a rare's past. All kinds of old games by Rare. Of course, my um, trash is in there, other trash is in there too. But, but things from Rare's past, which include cameo, elements of power, and all that, are in that trash can. Here comes a uh, la log, Lord of Games. Interesting character. Viva Pinata. Time to move on. 